Amphibians by Lucas Jacobs, Kate Asipus, and Mike McHale. This is an amphibian. I'm sorry, but we have received word that this is actually a strawberry. This is an actual amphibian, not of the strawberry variety. This amphibian is a frog. Frogs are also vertebrates. This is shown in the picture on the screen. If you're not looking, you're stupid. Amphibians like this frog breathe air. This is how amphibians eat. Yummy slime. Three unique facts about amphibians is that they are all heterotrophs. And at one point in their lives, they have lungs, and at one point, they have gills. Not necessarily at the same time. However, that is possible with some amphibians. And at one point in their lives, they live in, on land, and at one point in their lives, they live in water. But that's not, that's definitely not at the same time, because that's not possible. Amphibians have radial symmetry and appeared on Earth about 365 million years ago. The Acres crepitans, or eastern cricket frog, may be found near permanent bodies of water in northeastern Mexico. They are diurnal, which means they are active for most of the year, and they breed between May and June. The Hypopatris varialisis, or the sheep frog, can be found in many arid areas from southeastern Texas into Mexico. They are nocturnal, and their eggs hatch in under 24 hours. The Anades lugubris, or the arboreal salamander, may be found in almost every forest from north to south California. They are about four inches long and are sit and wait predators. The beautiful punctatus, or the red spotted toad, can be found in deserts, prairies, and grasslands and can be seen from Texas to California to South Mexico. They are olive color and are active at twilight. The Hillocene ray, or the green tree frog, may be found in wet areas in the southeast part and along the east coast of the U.S. They can go up to two days without eating and can be up to six centimeters long. Amphibians start out as eggs, and inside the egg they grow into an embryo, which hatch into a tadpole, which grow until they get their front legs, and then they start pulmonary breathing with the lungs that develop and they crawl out of the pond or lake or wherever they live and turn into a tadpole frog which then grows into an adult frog.